Hello, I'm Dr. John Wong, specialist in gastroenterology and hepatology. April is IBS Awareness Month. IBS stands for Irritable Bowel Syndrome. Now you may have heard of this, and that's probably because up to 5 to 10% of the population are estimated to be affected by this condition. The primary symptoms of IBS include abdominal discomfort, which can be in the form of pain, cramps, or bloating, accompanied by constipation and or diarrhea. Now these symptoms are not specific for IBS. Other gastrointestinal conditions, like food intolerances, infections, inflammation-related bowel conditions, like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, and even cancers can have overlapping symptoms. To differentiate these causes, blood, stool, and endoscopy-based testing may be needed. Making an accurate and timely diagnosis is particularly important with the rising incidence of digestive cancers, especially colorectal cancer in the younger than 50-year-old age group. According to the World Health Organization, cancers of the digestive system now accounts for every one in four new cancer cases and one in three cancer-related deaths globally. Symptoms not typical for IBS include nausea, vomiting, passing blood on the toilet paper and in the stool, unintentional weight loss, and nocturnal symptoms. As a gastroenterologist, it is not uncommon for me to hear how IBS symptoms have affected a patient's quality of life disrupting social plans and work responsibilities. We are learning that IBS symptoms can be related to food triggers or imbalances of the gut microbiome. There can also be heightened gut sensitivity and altered pain perception with stressors playing a role. Because of this, IBS is now considered a disorder of gut-brain interaction. Management of IBS symptoms can be multidisciplinary and may include manipulation of food, medications targeting pain, cramps, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, anxiety, and mood symptoms. Psychological support is also available. There is no one size fits all. It's all about finding what works well for you. So if persistent digestive symptoms sound familiar, treatment and support are available. Early diagnosis and management are the keys to a better life with IBS.